This is the battle for northern Syria, and for now, Turkey is the one making gains. Turkey's military and civilian rebels have taken over towns and villages from the YPG terror group. In just a few days, Ankara has redrawn the map in this part of Syria. Its aim is to create what it calls a safe zone here, 32 kilometers wide and 120 kilometers long. Turkey says the YPG is a threat to its border and is pushing them out of this corridor. It also wants to resettle up to 2 million Syrian refugees here. They're currently living in Turkey. Suriye rejiminin dahi kabul etmedi PYD YPG'ye karşı evet. Attığımız bu adımı asla durdurmayacağız. Kim ne derse desin durdurmayacağız. The YPG is the Syrian branch of the PKK terror group. The PKK has been fighting the Turkish state for nearly 40 years. More than 40,000 people have been killed during this conflict. Just a few hundred meters behind me is Syria. More than 100,000 people have fled the fighting there. Many have found refuge across the border here in Turkey, including some Kurds. But it seems this operation is testing Turkey's relations with other countries, including its own allies. Before Turkey's offensive began, the US withdrew its forces from the region, effectively giving a green light to start the operation. But the US has come under heavy criticism. It once partnered with YPG to fight Daesh, and has since been giving mixed responses to Turkey's campaign. The Trump administration has now imposed sanctions on Turkish government officials and ministries to pressure Ankara into ending its advance. The United States of America wants Turkey to stop the invasion, to implement an immediate ceasefire, and to begin to negotiate with Kurdish forces in Syria to bring an end to the violence. So will Turkey's border operation reshape traditional alliances, and for how long? And what impact might that have on the almost nine-year war in Syria? Ada Abasi, the newsmakers at the Turkey-Syria border.